So right over here, we want to compute what 3 times 0.25 or 3 times 25 hundredths is. And so I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can figure this out. All right, now let's work through this together. And in this video, we're going to explore multiple strategies. In the future, we're going to show you what's called the standard strategy, which you might use a lot. But the strategies we're going to look at in this video are actually very helpful for understanding what multiplying decimals actually means, how it relates to multiplying fractions, and it's often the way that people, even people who have a lot of math behind them, how they actually multiply decimals. So here, 3 times 25 hundredths. So there's a couple of ways to think about it. One way is to say, hey, this is the same thing as 3 times, and I'm just going to write it a different way, 25 hundredths. Hundredths. So if I have 3 times 25 of something, what is it going to be? Well, what's 3 times 25? Well, let's see, 2 times 25 is 50, 3 times 25 is 75. So it's going to be 75. And I'm multiplying not just 3 times 25, I'm multiplying 3 times 25 hundredths. So instead of 25 hundredths, I'm going to have 75. 75 hundredths. So written out in words, this would be 75 hundredths. Now how would we write that as a decimal? Well, that is the same thing as this, 75 hundredths. Now another way to conceptualize this, to think about what this is, is if we were to write 3 times we could write it as a fraction. We could write 25 over 100. This is another way of writing 25 hundredths. These are all equivalent. So what is 3 times 25 over 100? Well, same idea. This is going to be equal to, I'm, you could say this is 25 over 100 plus 25 over 100 plus 25 over 100. This is going to be 75. 75 hundredths, which once again is 0. 0.75. If you wanted to more formally view it as fraction multiplication, you could view it as 3 over 1 times 25 over 100. And you multiply the numerators, you get 75. You multiply the denominators, you get 100. Either way, in all of these situations, you're going to get 75 hundredths. Or another way to think about it is, hey, look. This thing right over here, this 25 over 100, this is the same thing as 1 fourth. So you could view this as 3 times 1 fourth. In fact, this is a decimal that it's good to recognize that this is the same thing as 1 fourth. So you could view this as 3 times 1 fourth, or 3 fourths. This is a fourth right here. 1 fourth could be viewed as a fourth. So this is going to be equal to 3 fourths, 3 over 4. 3 fourths. All of these are equivalent. Now if someone wanted it written out as a decimal, you, could, if, you might know that 3 fourths can be expressed as 75 hundredths, which in general is a good thing to know. Now let's tackle slightly more complicated examples. So let's say we wanted to figure out, we wanted to figure out what 0 0.4 times zero, let me just send a new color, times 0 0.3 is going to be equal to. Pause the video and see if you can compute this. And I'll give you a hint. See if you can express these as fractions. All right, so what we have here in white, we could read this as 4 tenths, 4 tenths, and we could write it as a fraction as 4 over 10. And we're going to multiply that by what we have over here. This is 3 tenths. 3 tenths, which we could write as a fraction as 3 tenths. And so you could view this as 4 tenths of 3 tenths, or 3 tenths of 4 tenths, but we're multiplying these fractions, which we've seen before in other videos. And so what's going to happen? Well, if we multiply the numerator, we get 12. We or the numerators, we multiply the denominators, you get 100. So you get 12 hundredths. So if you wanted to write that as a decimal, it would be 0 0.12. 12 hundredths. Now you might notice something interesting here, and you'll see this more and more as you get as you learn the standard method. Well, 12 is 4 times 3 is 12. But now I have two digits behind the decimal. 
But notice, I have one digit behind the decimal here, one digit behind the decimal here, for a total of two digits behind the decimal. So I'm giving you a little bit of a hint about where we're going, but the important thing for this video is to recognize that you can re-express each of these as fractions, and then multiply the fractions to get something expressed in terms of hundredths, and then express that as a decimal. 